The Daytona 500 is one of the biggest sports events of the year. So get your friends and family together and watch the great American race with a Daytona Day party right in your own home. Now, to make things extra special, I've created the official Daytona Day party menu and want to show you how to make two delicious dishes. Let's get started. Now, the secret of a great slider has to be that amazing butt of pork. Look at this, baby. This is a very cheap cut. It looks expensive, but it's very cheap. So, the secret behind this is making sure you cook it low and slow. Now is to sort of give it a really good rub and marinade. First off, a really nice smoked paprika. Brown sugar on top. Next to that, some thyme flowers. Dry thyme is great. And then some minced garlic. All you need to do now is just get your hands in there and start rubbing. The secret here is to literally coat this pork butt in all those spices really starts to flavor it. Look, there you go. That's a beautiful, incredible, fragrant pork butt. So, get a nice long roasting tray. Lightly oil it. From there, get your onions. Just peel them and slice them in half. Onions in. Now, that's what the pork butt sits on, okay? From there, get that up to temp. And then, lightly season those onions. So, fresh thyme in. Again, dry thyme is fine. What we're trying to do now is make this amazing sort of bed of this sweet caramelized onion that the pork sits on throughout the eight to 10 hours. Lift up your pork, sit that on top of your onions. And then from there, take your stock. This is the plain chicken stock. So you can use vegetable stock if you wish and pour that over. Now, basically that's it. Before it goes into the oven, a nice seasoning on top. Stock comes up to the boil, and then, tin fall. Tuck in your ends, and then literally, that is it. And then from there, into the oven at 250 for a minimum of eight hours. Let's think about slaw. First off, the red cabbage. This is just shredded ultra thinly. We're gonna use a sort of really nice white cabbage and then the carrots. Now, again, rather than slicing them, grate the carrots. Mix them up and then from there, just to sort of liven this up a little bit and make it a little bit sort of zesty, take your lemons and get the zest of your lemon, that perfect sort of amount of acidity. From there, lemon in. And already, just with the zest and the lemon juice, the whole thing's fresh. And now for the dressing. This is a really delicious, light buttermilk vinegar dressing with a touch of honey in there. Now give that a really good mix up. That starts to form a delicious slider. This buttermilk slaw, especially with the lemon, makes it nice and light, fresh, and incredibly flavoursome. This is where the magic unfolds. Mm. We'll just come a little bit closer and have a look inside here. Mm. Look at those. Just the flavour. We'll start slicing the pork. We'll be able to shred it nice and fine. Off. I'm going to dip that in the juice and then into the bowl. First off, the slices are nice and thin. Lay them onto the board. And then from there, literally, get the knife doing the work. And look. Get. Now the secret from there, those onions, what we call a chef's dream. You take the onions and likewise, hold them together, turn them over, and literally, Slice, so you've got this caramelized onion puree that's running through that pork. You can't buy those onions in. Now for putting these delicious pork butt sliders together. Gas on. Slice the buns in half and just toast them lightly. This starts to sort of almost protect 
the bun. It stops it from going soggy. And look, that's what I want, a nice toasted bun. Now, I'm gonna start off with a little bit of Chipotle. Just dab that on the bottom. It's nice and moist. Now, just from there, take your slaw. Again, don't go crazy. Give it a good mix. Sit that on top. We've got flavor in. Going that extra yard and toasting those buns makes a massive difference, let me tell you. And now for the magic. The pork. Be generous and literally sit that on top of the slaw. You've got those onions. Smell how sweet they are, it's incredible. And then finally, before we put the lid down, like that slider, take your chipotle and just sit that on top. That is a perfect race day treat. Finally, take your buns and then sit them on top and push that down a little bit so they don't fall out. They have to be the tastiest pork sliders anywhere on race day. Good luck. And there we are, these incredible pork butt sliders. And that completes this incredible Daytona party menu with the most amazing mac and cheese, a grilled romaine salad and the sweet potato tater tots. And then of course, this wonderful flourless chocolate cake. And let's not forget, mm, a Daytona Destroyer cocktail. All these recipes are online. This will complete an amazing day. Good luck and have a fantastic weekend. Bye.